Hello Pisces and welcome to your September 2022 readings with me. If you're new to my channel, dear Pisces, I suggest you please do subscribe. So let's get in, uh, let's get started to see what's in store for Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. Well, the energy starts with a very beautiful energy. Uh, and as you can see, we see gold coins for you, my dear Pisces. If you have been thinking about money matters, if you have been... Uh, bothered about money matters then my dear Pisces you are going to get opportunities in order to improve your bank balance all right if your bank balance has been a bit undernourished <laughs> then I would say the first week is going to get you opportunities the first week is going to get you some breaks wherein you can make a financial a progress in your life this is what is seen for you my dear Pisces and I also see that Pisces are going to be very creative at this point of time uh, and I see that Jupiter Papa Jupiter <laughs> uh, is going to have uh, its loving eyes upon you my dear Pisces and I would also like to tell dear Pisces is that um, in the first week not just in the first week but every time uh, if you want to really be successful in your life, really progress in your life, the sector of your life that you have to really, really put your attention on is serving older people, okay? Serving people who are elderly, okay? Like taking care of your parents, your grandparents, your old neighbors, or going and volunteering for services at uh, in elderly homes, uh, you know, old people's homes for Mm, or you can also go and help people uh, who are uh, elderly so don't forget to do that because your life uh, as I can see needs the blessings from these people and don't forget your ancestors uh, every morning or every evening when you pray okay for me I pray every day <laughs> to my ancestors also I mean I pray for everyone and everything actually I don't even leave the uh, animal kingdom also I pray to everyone because they all are a, a part of our universe okay but especially for Pisces uh, please do take care uh, of the elderly people in your lives or even if you don't have any elderly peoples in, people in your life go and try to volunteer help uh, people who are elderly okay and don't hesitate to help them uh, my dear Pisces before going further I have an announcement to make my dear ones for this month of September there will be a special guided meditation by me as we see that the world is having lots of chaotic energies and we all need to remain grounded mentally, physically and spiritually because these energies somehow are the causing agents for harming our relationships, for harming our peace of mind and inducing lots of stress and as we are going to go ahead in times now the energies are going to become more and more volatile my dear ones so I have prepared a guided meditation so especially for this month of September so that we are grounded and we find our peace of mind and we remain unaffected even in the eye of the storm my dear ones and you can find it in the description below there will be a link below wherein you can go and find this meditation so let's continue further then we go to the second week my dear Pisces the second week's energy as you can see is a bit slow energy okay so you wanted some things to happen quickly but they are going to take their own time so if you are a Piscean student and you wanted some results of something to come quickly maybe they get delayed uh, you were supposed to uh, recover money from someone they said oh we will give you in the second week of September but it doesn't come on time uh, you were supposed to travel but there are some kind of blocks on your path in the second week and your travel gets delayed or you have some problems regarding your travels um, so my dear Pisces in the second week expect some kind of delay 
uh, for something that you want quickly, there is going to be a delayed energy. But a delayed energy, my dear Pison, it doesn't mean that uh, it's not going to work out. Your project is delayed. Your train is delayed. Your plane is delayed. Uh, the money coming in is delayed. Whatever it is, the results have not arrived, okay? Or you're, you were supposed to undergo an operation or intervention and that has got delayed. Take it as a blessing from above because during this time you can process the information, try to reevaluate everything, check, verify, recheck, revisit, reflect, rethink, okay, and then on you move further, all right. So, this is the time given to you by the divine so that you work nicely uh, and see what needs to be polished uh, before. Uh, you make that particular decision, that move, okay? Uh, depending on your love life also, there can be some kind of delays. You're waiting for somebody's message or somebody to come, your beloved to come in, but they cannot because they are stuck somewhere, all right? Uh, because of work or because of certain kind of delays. So don't get worked up and don't spoil the relationship <laughs> just by, you know, uh, misunderstandings, uh, your beloved, but give them time, all right? So this energy will somehow help you to uh, polish what is re left unpolished in whatever uh, you are doing at this point of time my dear Pisces and of course it will yield good results so you don't need to worry because why do I say that because in the third week you are getting lucky you are entering a period of luck here I see that money will be uh, I would say the goddess of prosperity will be favoring you in the third week because I see you becoming financially well off in the third week as money is coming in. That money that was supposed to be given to you is now being recovered in the third week of September. This is what I'm seeing. And I'm also seeing my dear, my dear Pisces is that... Uh, uh, you will get some lucky breaks also at this point of time. Whatever you are going to do in the third week is going to yield you some kind of prosperity, okay? Even if it is not a big windfall, you will get a uh, prosperous um, touch of the goddess of prosperity in the third week, my dear Pisces. And also I'm seeing um, regarding your love life, regarding your work, regarding your creative projects, regarding your spiritual ascension and evolution, uh, things are looking quite promising for you in the third week, my dear Pisces. And then we go to the last week over here. And the last week, as you can see, you and your loved one, is taking up on a journey you are traveling together uh, it can be that you're traveling for a particular event or you are traveling uh, for um, you know, you are traveling for uh, some kind of a family get together or to attend something together this is what i'm seeing i'm also seeing the last week for dear Pisces students also it's a very very nice uh, I would say this is a very good month for you, right? Uh, especially the last week because here um, you are working together on some kind of project. People are supporting you uh, on your path. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a lot of support coming in Pisces in the last week. And I'm also seeing some new collaborations taking place for Pisces in business. Uh, some new friendships being made. Uh, and also I see marriage for some of the Pisces. Uh, there is a marriage energy for Pisces also. For some of you it is a marriage of minds wherein two people come together and give, um, you know, uh, and marry their ideas in order to produce something wonderful and creative. Uh, a creative project is born out of that. And for some of you it is uh, the marriage uh, you know, like you are meeting somebody or you already have someone and uh, now this commitment is getting uh, more and more uh, deeper in the form of a marriage commitment. This is what I am seeing over here. So all in all, my dear Pisces, even money-wise also in the last week, there can be a collaboration that will yield uh, money also. This is what is seen for Pisces. And also, I would like to give you one small warning over here, my dear Pisces, is that whatever money you are getting, just try to uh, invest it in a good way. Save the money, okay? Don't squander it away. Uh, don't be impulsive in your spendings because 
later on you will regret it if you do so so right now try to be more balanced in your expenditures not too much of expenditure because in the third week you might have uh, this kind of um, you know feeling that oh i feel like buying this i feel like buying that okay so just go a bit slow on that i'm telling you but i'm telling this to myself also because whenever i see some antique piece my i'm like wow you know so don't do like that okay don't do like me <laughs> i would say that all right so um here you are my dear Pisces. is a wonderful month of september and the second week take it cool take it lazy take it easy but keep on working inside of you to how to make things better all right so i wish you all the best my dear Pisces, and um, and those of you who are uh, going for the meditation see you for the meditation the link uh, is in the description box below okay so see you there too all right bye bye god bless please do like share and comment bye <laughs>